on the draft night, my little brother was up, obviously at the draft, he was touted to go pretty high, so him and mum and dad were up there. We had the, the option of me going up there with my brother Angus, who's uh, at Melbourne. I thought it better to probably stay at home, and originally the plan was just me, uh, Angus and my girlfriend Lauren sitting at home and watching it. And then at the very last minute, we sort of decided to go around to a friend's place. So obviously exciting when Andrew went early and then all the names that you sort of know get picked early on and you're, you're happy for them. And then you sort of realise that I'm still waiting for my name to be called out. So you sort of sink slowly back into the chair as the night goes on. And by the time my name get called out at number 68, everyone was there excited and it was yeah, a very awesome feeling. It was a pretty abrupt move. The draft was Friday night and Andrew and I flew out on a Sunday, but um, the benefit of having him with me was, was, pretty, was pretty special. Brayshaw, Fife, McCarthy to Brayshaw, goes for home. I go and watch most of his games whenever he's at Optus. I go and watch and I watch him on the TV, so I sort of I always have a little bit to say about his game and how he's playing, but um, it wasn't until only a couple of weeks ago that I started playing again. He came and watched my first league game for East Perth on the weekend and I gave him a call afterwards and he sort of gave me some feedback on my game. So, yeah, that was good to just be able to talk back and forth about football, but also when you don't want to talk footy and you just want to sort of muck around with your brother, he's, he's there for that as well, which is, which is definitely a good release from the game. He's got a big personality and he's fitted in really well with the playing group. He comes from a great family and, and background and he's, he's played a bit of senior footy himself, so he's quite mature. Uh, in, the, in the body. Unfortunately he's had some injuries um, but he's handled that really well and dealt with it and started to get back to playing some footy at East Perth. And from the get-go his attitude's been great and um, he fits in really well with the boys. So it was a pretty obscure injury, um, a fat pad that's sort of between the kneecap and the tendon that sort of protects them from rubbing against each other, that had sort of torn so recovery time was sort of dependent on how I'd sort of pulled up from the little test that I had to hit. So I needed to, first of all, be able to walk properly, be able to run, and all those sort of took their time. So it took a, probably about eight weeks before I was properly ready to go back again. So a lot of sort of coming in, doing the bike, doing swims, going to the gym, and throughout this time, the club, we'd won 10 games in a row. So it was, it was a good feeling around the club, and just the success you could see on the field sort of made me want to work harder in rehab to maybe get out there when come the back half of the year. So I'm not looking too far beyond the next couple of weeks just to sort of get a, I'm going to play full minutes next week so that'll be me back into the side for a, for a full hit out so I'll be trying to get as much continuity as I can in my game and then yeah we'll see where that takes us throughout the rest of the year but I think at the moment it's just knuckle down to East Perth and, and get a kick.